the living conditions on the earth during the millennium reign of Jesus. The Bible Dictionary Information on the Millennium Reign of Jesus on the Earth The word millennium is not found in the Bible. It is of a recent origin, dating back to the 1630 SAD. The word itself is composed of the Latin mill, which means 1000, and annus, which means year. Its Christian usage refers to the thousand-year reign of Jesus Christ on the earth spoken of in Revelation 20.1. The Days of Heaven on Earth During the millennium reign of Jesus on earth, we will witness a period of unprecedented peace, prosperity, and justice. This 1,000-year reign of Christ, as prophesied in the Bible, will bring about remarkable changes in living conditions on earth, resembling days of heaven. Let's explore this divine era through scripture and explanations. 1. Establishing the throne of David and God's kingdom. Scripture, Matthew 24, 29-31, Immediately after the tribulation of those days, the sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give its light, and the stars will fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Then will appear in heaven the sign of the Son of Man and then all the tribes of the earth will mourn, and they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he will send out his angels with a loud trumpet call, and they will gather his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. Notes Jesus will return in glory to establish his reign on earth, fulfilling the prophecy. This marks the beginning of the 1,000-year reign and the re-establishment of the throne of David. 2. The Binding of Satan and Universal Peace Scripture, Isaiah 24,21, Isaiah 25,7 On that day the Lord will punish the host of heaven, in heaven, and the kings of the earth, on the earth. They will be gathered together as prisoners in a pit, they will be shut up in a prison, and after many days they will be punished. And he will swallow up on this mountain the covering that is cast over all peoples, the veil that is spread over all nations. Notes Satan will be bound during this time, eliminating temptation and evil influences. Universal peace will prevail as God's reign brings harmony among nations. 3. Universal prosperity. Scripture, Isaiah 65, 21-24, Ezekiel 34, 26, Micah 4, 1-5, They shall build houses and inhabit them. They shall plant vineyards and eat their fruit. They shall not build and another inhabit. They shall not plant and another eat. For like the days of a tree shall the days of my people be, and my chosen shall long enjoy the work of their hands. I will make them and the places all round my hill a blessing, and I will send down the showers in their season. They shall be showers of blessing. Notes abundance and prosperity will characterize this era, with God's blessings overflowing. The land will be fruitful, and people will enjoy the fruits of their labor without fear. 4. Justice for all. Scripture, Isaiah 9,6-7, Isaiah 11,2-5, For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and of peace, there will be no end. The Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the Spirit of wisdom and understanding, the Spirit of counsel and might, the Spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. And his delight shall be in the fear of the Lord. He shall not judge by what his eyes see, or decide disputes by what his ears hear, but with righteousness he shall judge the poor, and decide with equity for the meek of the earth. Notes Christ's reign will bring perfect justice and equity, eliminating crime and injustice. The law will be upheld diligently, ensuring righteousness for all. 5. Prolonged human life. Scripture, Isaiah 65, 20, Zechariah 8, 4, Luke 133, No more shall there be in it an infant who lives but a few days, or an old man who does not fill out his days, for the young man shall die a hundred years old and the sinner a hundred years old shall be accursed. Thus says the Lord of hosts, Old men and old women shall again sit in the streets of Jerusalem, each with staff in hand because of great age. Notes human lifespans will be significantly extended during the millennium. 
those who remain faithful will have the opportunity to live on eternally. 6. Increase in light. Scripture, Isaiah 30 colon 26, Isaiah 60 colon 18 minus 22. Moreover, the light of the moon will be as the light of the sun, and the light of the sun will be sevenfold, as the light of seven days, in the day when the Lord binds up the brokenness of his people, and heals the wounds inflicted by his blow. Violence shall no more be heard in your land, devastation or destruction within your borders, you shall call your walls salvation, and your gates praise. Notes there will be an abundance of light, symbolizing spiritual enlightenment and guidance. Darkness and violence will be replaced by divine illumination and peace. 7. Love, Righteousness, and Joy. Scripture, Isaiah 9,6-7, Isaiah 11,5, Isaiah 55,12, For to us a child is born, to us a son is given. Of the increase of his government and of peace, there will be no end. Righteousness shall be the belt of his waist, and faithfulness the belt of his loins. They shall not hurt or destroy in all my holy mountain. Notes love, righteousness, and joy will pervade the earth during Jesus' reign. God's presence will bring eternal happiness and harmony to all. Bible Dictionary, Millennium Reign of Jesus on Earth The Millennium Reign refers to the 1000 hyphen year period when Jesus Christ will establish his kingdom on earth. It is prophesied in various biblical passages, including Revelation 20 colon 1 minus 10. During this time, Jesus will rule with justice and righteousness, bringing about universal peace, prosperity, and an extended human lifespan. Satan will be bound, ensuring a time of temptation free living.